job. I, I do a marvelous Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> you dirty rat. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yes, well, I, I thought that Virginia could play the lead. Me? Yes. Oh, how thrilling. I'll have to buy a new dress, of course. Of course. Oh, I think you look pretty stunning in anything, Virginia. <laughs> well, that rather, de rather depends on how I direct it, really, well, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely imperative, you know, to have a, a soft focus lens. Did you see Bo Derrick in ten? Oh, yes. <laughs> when she came out of the sea, <laughs> she had hardly any clothes on. I know, exactly, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you can cut the Hollywood bit out, Pitt. I'm going to direct it. Well, do you know anything about directing? I mean, it's a very skilled art, you know. Doesn't seem to be very much to it, as far as I can see. I mean, I had experience of it in the army. You know, newsreels, documentaries, propaganda films. Really? Yes. He was the camp projectionist. <laughs> but it's straightforward as far as I can see. You just point the camera in the right direction and press the button. Point the camera and press... Watch out, Steven Spielberg. <laughs> well, I, I spent uh, all the morning working on a script. There you are. A script? Yes. There's yours. yours. Watch out, watch out. There's a tea leaf about. <laughs> yes, that is underworld rhyming slang. You know, tea leaf thief. I mean, you hear it quite often on television nowadays. I thought it added a touch of authenticity. You know, after all, realism is the key word. Watch out, watch out, there's a tea leaf about. Yes. People will think it's about fortune telling. <laughs> well, it's certainly a load of crystal balls. <laughs> That's you Now, you'll see the first scene's about locking doors and windows. Um, uh, where, where do I come in? Uh, your entrance is on page two, I think, Virginia. Oh. Sabrina, a stunning housewife. <laughs> has decided to go out for the evening. Oh, yes. Probably some marvellous cocktail party somewhere. I know just the frock. She enters her garage from inside the house and unlocks her garage doors to go out. But there, hidden in the bushes, is a bugler. A bugler? It's <laughs> <laughs> blowing Rivali, I suppose. <laughs> It's, it's, it's my typewriter. It doesn't always print the R's. It obviously should be burglar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and who's going to be this burglar? Uh, Pitties. <laughs> I can't be a burglar. Why not? You look like one. <laughs> and what exactly does a burglar look like, may I ask? He looks like you, Pitt. Shifty. <laughs> How very funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't be a burglar. I've got a reputation to think well, of. What reputation? My company's. <laughs> We manufacture burglar alarms, don't we? <laughs> what would my customers think if they saw me crouching in bushes pretending to be a burglar? I think I run a supply and demand racket. <laughs> don't be pathetic, Pitt. Nobody will recognize you. Why not? Because you'll be wearing a heavy character makeup. Oh, I see. Uh, what happens then? Ah, ah, well, the burglar then goes into the unlocked garage after Virginia drives away. Why does he do that? If he's a professional, he'd break in, not waste his time in an empty garage. At first, he's looking for some mess. Mess? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I thought for a touch of colour, we'd make him into a, into a dirty, filthy, smelly, alcoholic tramp. <laughs> a dirty, filthy, smelly, alcoholic tramp. Right, well, that's it then. There is no way that I'm going to dress up as a dirty, filthy, smelly, alcoholic trap. <laughs> I'm only doing this on condition that you include my smoke alarms in the film. Yes, yes, all right. We'll get in the bushes. And I want a proper commercial type break in the middle of the film when I can bounce on and give a demo. I said yes, haven't I? Get in the bushes. And I want a credit at the end of the film with my phone number. We won't get to the end, will we? If you don't take up your position, get back in the bushes. Right. <laughs> All right, Virginia, stand by to open the garage doors. Standing by, John. Right. Action. Action. I can't open the door. <laughs> but press the button. We'll kick the door. <laughs> cut. cut. Look, Virginia, you, you mustn't look at the camera. Oh, I'm sorry, John. Oh, yeah. Just carry on as though we weren't here. 
I think I wasn't. <laughs> Pay particular attention. Get back in the bushes. Now, let's get on with it, shall we? I want to set up my smoke alarm demonstration. Right, Virginia, here we go oh, again. Fast. <laughs> again, Virginia. Ready when you are, John. Hey, Sabrina, what on earth do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm setting the bacon rolls up. But you just started filming. Well, I may as well put them all out now. You'll only complain if they're not here when you need them. I'll get the tea in. Ah, oh, good. I could do with a cup of tea. <laughs> Will you shut up, bit? This is not a soup kitchen. Do something useful for him. Say, go and move that table under. All right, on, all honey. right. Keep your hair on, Mr. Dumbbell. Oh, God, let's have a bit of action round here. Here I come! <laughs> 